Hello everyone and welcome to the top custom Hearthstone cards of the week where I basically go over the top custom cards uh, for this week on the custom Hearthstone Reddit. If you guys like the video be sure to leave a like and subscribe and also let me know in the comments below which card is your favorite. So first up we have God Renathalus. <laughs> The 10 mana 100 100 your deck size hand size and starting health are a thousand seems practical to me i don't know about you guys uh, but i would much rather have this simply because of the fact that it's renathalus i i don't even know <laughs> and also what does it say here all rights ah we'll just kind of ignore that but i mean needless to say this is a meme i'm surprised it's at the top sometimes custom hearthstone can just pop off and then just go absolutely crazy with the uh, types of cards that they make. It's gotten definitely quite a lot of traction with it in general, but needless to say, one star for me. Okay, well, I guess these cards are actually kind of hilarious. Uh, so this guy is a 1 mana 2-2 two, two twister, battle cry turn your hero. And you're like, well, what does that look like? Well, the, the original creator of this card has actually showed us a visual representation of what this card actually is supposed to do. So, as you can see, you are literally turned. So, that's just how you will play for the rest of the game. You play two of these, hey, guess what? You turn upside down and you're going to be playing with your hero facing against you. And now you have two heroes to face against. It's actually it's actually funny because of the fact that they did include a visual representation. Like, like we didn't know what it meant. And this like fully just clears it up. It's like, oh, if you didn't know, this is what it does. <laughs> wow. I guess this week is full of memes. And I must be missing out on it. Is it meme week or something? I have no clue. Oh my god. Okay. Dude, something is going on. What is going on here? I, I I just logged into the Reddit, the custom Hearthstone Reddit, and this is what I'm stumbling upon. Fun-sized vortex, zero man. This is top card of the week, by the way. This is the top third card of the week. Reading fun-sized vortex, zero mana, one one. That's you know a new zero mana elemental. What does it got? Spell damage plus zero. The heck is a zero? Well, I, I think it's actually kind of cool. I think this little guy without the spell damage plus zero is actually kind of neat. I would definitely run him just for the sake of things. He's kind of like a like like a play elemental type thing. I, I don't know. He, he is like a little fun sized vortex. I don't the three humorous cards we saw. This is probably the better version. So for that, I'd probably give it like a two star, but you know, it's just because of the, the flavor of it. Not not for that spell damage plus zero. <laughs> okay, an actual card now. Oh, so we have the fourth card here. There's an arcane overcharge. Reading as two mana, give your minions spell damage plus one, and then deal one damage to all minions. This is kind of broken, I think. There are so many ways you can flood the board nowadays that, like, if you happen to get this, I, I think it's actually possible you just kind of, like, OTK in such an easy way. I don't know. Giving all minions spell damage plus one definitely isn't something on a two mana card effect. Possibly something on three mana, but, I mean, needless to say, you know, ah, that's so scary. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a one star because of that effect alone. I think like the only time this card can ever be actually used is maybe like in a four, like a four cost minimum. And, and maybe it doesn't hit all minions. I don't know, but this is actually kind of scary. You, you cast two of these, it's easy to reduce this to like one mana or zero mana with cost reductions. I, I wouldn't even chance it like this thing. This thing easily would represent an easy OTK. I, I wouldn't want to see it. Oh my god. And just when I thought we were done with it, zero mana zero zero veg lord Renathal with what seems to be Taco Bell and Coca-Cola eating some nacho fries. 
Your starting deck size is zero. What is going on? Why is Renathal such a, a meme? <laughs> is this what's happened? We've missed Renathal so much. We have no choice but to engrave him like this. Holy moly. I mean, needless to say, we're going to move on to the next one, uh, which is Yulon as a 10 mana hero card, Spirit of Growth. Battle Cry, unleash your celestial powers. Now, before I go further into this video or to the this card, uh, I would like to say that having like a Mista Pandaria or Pandaria theme would be so cool for an expansion. Like, I think it would actually be like one of the funnest. And I think the only way that they would release it is if they would release Monk or, uh, yeah, Monk along with the whole like Pandaria theme, but like this is like such a cool aspect. You could do so many different things with like fireworks. There's like uh, these different types of dragons that we're normally used to. All these cool things that I would love to see, but let's get into it. They're gonna, we're gonna hopefully OP can kind of get a good grasp of, you know, what Pandaria or like this whole like yeah this whole pandaria theme going on so it it says battle cry unleashed your celestial hero powers which has a hero power here of miraculous growth two mana discover a nature spell very simple and and i will say in some cases can be super specific so possibly you know you could discover this quite easily and discover any nature spell quite easily if there's a smaller pull for it so this would probably have to be like a fit like a fifth or sixth expansion type thing where you know there's like enough cards to kind of not dilute the or to help dilute the the nature spell okay so oh wow wow they have a lot of cool okay so j tempest three mana j tempest nature spell deal three damage Yulon's battle cry does three damage to all enemies. Wow. I wonder if that stacks multiple times. Very interesting card. You know, I, I think a simple three damage. You you think about it, it's kind of like, like the invoke, except it's not invoking there. It's kind of like buffing up your hero card. It definitely is very strong. I, I, I think, you know, once you get that thing going, and you cast two of these, I would imagine it does it twice. It doesn't specify anywhere that it wouldn't. So it's kind of like, you know, eventually you will play your hero card and then it will deal six damage to all enemies. Very, very strong. I think if that is, but without seeing the rest of the cards, if that is the extent of, of what it can do face damage or if there's more to it, the only thing I would probably think of is maybe do dealing two damage and then dealing two damage to all enemies might actually be more playable in a sense because of the fact that dealing three damage is nice but it is three mana dealing two damage with two costs is probably a little bit better if you're you're trading one mana for like a one damage value which isn't that important especially when you're you're going with that i don't know it, it really depends both feels nice the way the card looks as is already feels nice like just like the the looks of it and it definitely does scream like a three mana card and interesting enough you can discover this with the nature tag at the bottom okay uh, three mana two three carved protector taunt battle cry gain five armor give yulon five armor so when you play yulon you get the the extra five armor see this is a lot more minor in my opinion that you might actually okay with maybe like i don't know actually you, you it's a three mana two three okay so if we if we kind of digest this down it's a three mana two three the three mana card uh, the two three it's a little bit less than a three mana effect you most three mana taunt minions are usually just a stat a regular stat line so we could probably think of this like a two mana two three two mana effect and the battle cry gain five armor is a one mana effect so yeah kind of kind of roughly fits in uh, quite nicely giving you lawn five armor as well is a little bit nice 
overall really really cool you you definitely get a lot of armor going on and if you happen to get multiple copies of this however stacks the yulon armor and i feel i feel like for minions it's not as possible that's why the other one seems a bit scarier because you're probably limited to about a total of 10 armor when you play yulon but with that spell well you can generate a bunch of nature spells you could possibly deal so much and that's possible that's kind of the difference i'm saying between this card and the other they cost the same and they're at the roughly same stat line but it's a bit more scarier when yulon is played so personally i think uh, the other one would need to be dialed down just a bit but this card is uh, rather cool i love armor gaining effects and, and everything like that so this this all screams you know really really awesome and a good direction and what they're going with okay jade oracle two mana one four at the end of your turn give spells you get from yulon's hero power spell damage plus one very interesting as it doesn't really do anything right away again it does things when you play yulon now i think uh, so yulon has to cost quite a bit in order for all these effects to stack i'm afraid that all these cards will like kind of add up and may not amount to it where you get to play yulon quite freely now, of course when you get him it's going to be great you know it's kind of like galakron but galakron is like seven mana with a huge stated effect uh, Yulon is 10, uh, so it's kind of a bit slower when you compare it to something like Galakron, and I would compare it to Galakron. Uh, so I think Yulon, just looking at things as we're going forward, that it might be a little bit overcosted. But spell damage plus one, not every spell you get discovered from a nature spell will have that. I will say, this is a really awesome art <laughs> i love this this is exactly hitting the exact like like uh pandarian uh like feeling of like what i wanted to see uh, this is like how i want druid to kind of play to be honest so we got the next one here blessed dreams three mana gain an empty mana crystal of course reduce the cost of yulon by one okay 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 that makes sense so you're playing this, reducing the cost of Yulon by one becomes a nine mana. You bump yourself up to five mana. You play, let's say you play another one of these, becomes eight mana. You bump yourself to seven mana. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't pan out quite immediate, but it is it is rather rather neat. You know that this is also reducing the cost of Yulon by one. This effect is rather cool. I think I think it is a very interesting thing. And again, the reducing the cost of Yulon, you know, wherever it is, is like very unique in the sense that it's like a mixture of Cthune and the Galakron type cards. And a simple gain of empty mana crystal isn't the worst thing. If anything, this is probably a bit on the weaker side, but you know, gaining mana crystals, you're always like, Druid is never unhappy with. If anything, I personally don't like the effect of this card too much because like i i wish that they strayed away from empty mana crystals or mana crystals in general but the card art looks amazing and i think it actually does fit super well like all the cards are just kind of like really spot on like i can definitely see something like this being like printed basically like this seems like a whole archetype five mana four six blessed brewmaster battle cry restore six health to your hero yulon's battle cry restore six health to all allies or all friendly characters it's probably the better wording but it's rather neat it's a bit weak if you ask me restore five mana four six that restores six health to your hero when you think about this paladin has that five mana four six dragon that restores eight health and you choose the target and I'm not saying that that like really makes the biggest difference but that card never really saw play and there's been multiple instances of like a five mana restore health to your hero as well for druid and it hasn't really panned out too well so i'm afraid this might fall off so you might need to make it maybe like a four mana or five and then maybe cut it down to restore five health to your hero it's also restoring quite a bit which again if you have which is kind of fine on a minion in my opinion i think you should go a little bit harder on the minions a little bit softer on the spells because you got to remember 
those spells you could probably get more of as druid and probably you'll get less of the druid minion so the druid minion should definitely have a like much stronger impact immediately and then you know semi immediately with with the the spells I, I think this card in and of itself is the weakest of the bunch though. Like this is this is definitely like not gonna cut it. Like the, the, they might actually just not include this. Or if they do, they probably throw like a one-off or something. Like why would you have this one? The three banana two five or two three does the exact same thing for like you know almost half the mana. And it has taunt, so it kinda it, it does a thing as well. Two mana okay, so we have a two mana jade pendant the nature spell as well discover spell spells you get from yulon's hero power cost one less now this is actually incredibly powerful which is rather cool you two mana discover spell it's you know again a semi-immediate effect but you discover a spell and they will always cost one less uh, stacking quite a lot you know by the time you play yulon you probably will have played both of these and then each one you cast is you know two less and then if you happen to Get another one of these well it's free you cast it again next ones are three less going forward really really cool i think this is actually balanced because it's not from like anywhere else but your hero power like your hero power is gaining like extra strength and everything this is rather cool buffing up that hero power and doing everything like i think those two effects are rather neat spell damage one is not really scary but it's just like not every spell is gonna have it like for example you discover this spell it doesn't deal damage so it doesn't get the spell damage plus one triggered onto it you know but this one like it affects every single one which is like really good probably the best one to be honest of of the bunch as far as like i i think personally it feels really good to see and play Okay, and lastly, we have Vanilla Darkfire. Draw your highest cost card. After you use Yulon's Hero Power, you get all three choices. Wow. <laughs> After you use Yulon's Hero Power, you get all three choices. I wonder if that's permanent or not. If it's not permanent, like it's a one-time effect, it's not the best, you know? This thing costs seven. Uh, again, you're looking at the you're comparing this to the six mana guy the six mana six six that draws Galakron. This one just draws your highest cost card uh, They both kind of do the same again But this one also has like a lingering effect after the fact if that if that lingering effect is just a one-off It becomes much less powerful, but if it is like occurring every single time then it's crazy like i don't think that's the case i think it's a one-time use but you know rather i i think you might need to to cut it down maybe make it six mana i think six mana is a sweet spot there, there's there's a weird spot between like a like a six and seven mana especially when it comes to like uh ramp or like cost reduction or drawing things at, at a certain time that doesn't really feel as good. But okay, so let me give my thoughts here. Personally, I think you launch should probably cost a little bit less. Like maybe like nine mana or something like that. Like I think he should honestly cost like nine mana, you know? And then and then with Miraculous Growth, that's fine. J Tempest, possibly again, bringing it down to two, deal two damage. You're gonna get multiple copies of this before you play Yulon. I guarantee you will, because th these aren't the only cards you will be playing. So if you happen to discover more nature spells and there's a limited nature pool, doesn't seem like it because there's a lot of nature spells in this like theory expansion, but can deal like six damage minimum and then going up to maybe like nine, 12, 15 damage. It deals quite a lot as like a, as an instant killer. If they if they so much as place any two additional like it's it's dealing like a quarter like a third of the opponent's health that's a lot and doing more as well carve protector perfectly fine three mana two three gain five armor give you lawn five armor i think this is really good it's actually giving it taunt makes it like kind of perfect like i i considered uh maybe maybe need to be a bit stronger but after looking at one of the other cards is weaker but Jade Oracle, it's not weak, it's just it doesn't give 
your spells, all your spells, you know, spell damage plus one. So it doesn't seem, it seems like, why would you do it if like, not, like you only have one of the nature spells here that, that gives, that gives a spell, that actually deals damage. So like, why would you even include this, you know? Like, I feel like this effect needs to be something else. Like, I can't think of it, but you know, it, it's, it's not, it's not, it's only impacting one of the three spells that are introduced. Blessed Dreams, again, rather nice. Thing is, is that if you have Yulon on 9 casting this, it kind of curves a little bit better. So if you happen to actually get this, twi and two, these two cards in your hand before you get to have Yulon played, you can actually get Yulon reduced down to 7 mana if you happen to high roll. And, I mean, why would you high roll when you're just playing that? It doesn't really make sense, but it proposes a different type of Yulon play. But yeah, like these cards are all like rather, you know, really interesting. This card is the weakest by far. And I think I think it actually like could potentially not be included. You know, it's also kind of contradictory because like, why would you have this as like a health generator when you have the three mana one as well? So it's like you're restoring health and you're gaining armor. I I'd rather it like, kind of like just be one of the two. Uh, personally, armor's a bit more stronger, of course, um, and I think it's a little bit more unique. Um, Druid's kind of been leaning into that more recently, so I would love to kind of see that. I don't know what you could do with Brewmaster specifically, but, like, it has to be something, like, you know, very Brewmaster-y. Like, there, there's more to do with, like, these Brewmasters than just, 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 like, what's been shown. What that is, I can't think of it off the top of my head. If you give me time to make a custom card, I could probably do it, but it's it's definitely definitely needs to be work on this card here. Jade Pendant, I think, is perfectly fine. It might be a bit strong, but it's limited to its hero power. I, I think it's still fine. Vanilla Darkfire, again, if you reduce Yulon by one mana, making it from going from 10 to 9, dropping this down from 7 to 6 and adjusting the stats accordingly, it kind of curves perfectly out or you could maybe just do something specific that that kind of like entails like what vanilla darkfire sets apart from like because really this is kind of exactly like the galacron six mana six six legendary there's literally no difference besides it's just from a six mana to a seven mana and with stats adjusted so like i, I think if you kind of set it apart it could probably be a bit cool but yeah, like really cool effects. This is an awesome like introduction of a archetype. So uh, I I think overall, the overall like theme of it feels nice. Whether it hits or lands, whether it's good, the flavor and design is at a five star. And I think the balance is probably at a four star, maybe even a three star. I don't think this would be like the most insane played card, but it's definitely really, really fun. I, I want it. <laughs> I want to implement this that it's actually like probably one of my favorite to to kind of see is is the whole like this value different type of druid play style that that we don't normally see. Okay, just a quick nod at the Rizzler Renathal. We're going to go ahead and skip that. Oh, yes, Chromie lost in time since Chromie only sent herself. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. Since Chromie only sent herself into the past, you can't utilize the time loss synergy for another five years. Blizzard just needs to remember to print this mechanic later or they'll break the space-time continuum. Due to power creep in the future, a 2 mana 3-3 three, three is an acceptable stat line and the Gnome Tribe exists. Even now it has some synergy with Menagerie cards as Chromie now has her own unique tribe. Since she won't be printed for another five years, Chromie is uncraftable and instead appears in your collection for free. Just hope that she'll be a free legendary on release or you'll have to spend 1600 dust to avoid creating a paradox. Smiley face, colon, parentheses. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with this subreddit. <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay, uh, ooh, Collectosari, four mana, one, one, miniaturized, death rattle. Draw a card, seven minis left. Wow. That is interesting. So you keep playing them and they're just like, it's like Octosari, but it's over the course of eight different cards. Rather neat, actually. Honestly, like this is how Octosari probably should have been. 
a, a very neat card. Very simple. I wouldn't say like absolutely playable, but like some classes definitely need the draw. And this is like an in between of like almost endless draw. Definitely fits into like a combo type deck because the more draw you can have in one card, the better. And I mean, he's not that hard to kind of get out, right? So you you put yourself at a little bit of a behind, but it's like it's four mana, so it's not the worst thing. Okay, so they made a League of Legends card. Three mana, two, two, Twisted Fate. Whenever you would add a card to your hand, deal two damage to a random enemy instead. Whenever you would add a card to your hand, deal two damage to... This would be kind of neat only if it's like for coins. You know what I mean? Like, uh... Wait, this also would be like drawing, wouldn't it? No, because drawing is different. I, I'm not sure how this function would work. There's a very different aspect of like whenever you would add a card because drawing technically adds you a card to your hand but like i can see this with maybe like something that has coin generators and you deal two damage to them but like i don't know where this effect is really going you know what i mean i mean instead you know like you you trade that value for two damage i just don't see it besides anything except for coin and if you're just doing coin stuff like why not just do coin shenanigans with other cards that like have a synergy. This doesn't really do the best, in my opinion. I think this is probably a two star in design and like like a one in balance. If, if, if there's anything, and if you guys are like, there's, there's this one OP broken combo that they mentioned, that's not fun. <laughs> like I, I think there's probably better ways to do it with other cards than the, just this one singular card that could like, break the game and then eventually get nerfed and then nobody talks about it again except for like that one person who like rides or dies this card okay and as we go down the train we have Greymane the moon eater if you deck has no even and odd cost cards you are almost out of cards okay we're gonna go ahead and skip that <laughs> encyclopedia wait hold on encyclo spella encyclo spella what mana all spell discover is spell this is arcane frost okay so it just kind of does everything all in total yeah it's kind of neat the you know the fact that it i think i think the flavor of like the book and it having like the the tree and then having like this dark thing around it and then ribbons coming out i think it does have like a very cool effect people have done this quite before so i, I think i'd give it a three in in design it's it's quite common for people to think of this and the discover spell again it's like you know it's cool as an epic i don't know probably as a common or a rare there's nothing really like super interesting about it but it is rather neat i it, it does the same thing as like other spells except it just covers everything so it's kind of like that one card that like you discover a, a spell that you haven't cast a spell school that you haven't cast yet but instead it's a one mana tag yeah, not the best. I, I I think it'd be played probably at three mana, but you know, again, it's there's not much to put here. Okay, King Rathal, five mana, five five. Your deck size and starting health are fifty. Let's move on. Okay, this card appeared to me in a dream. Four mana, one two, Beast Classic. All right, looks like you're having nightmares. Uh, Forbidden Geist, spend spend all your your mana, destroy all cards that cost both. In my chance in decks. Okay, looks like everyone's having nightmares. Got it, got it. We're gonna go ahead and skip that. Two mana water spring at the end of your turn. Refresh all mana crystals. What is that card art? <laughs> what is that card art? <laughs> um yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Thanks for your donation. One mana two one still your hero steals two health from your from the enemy hero. Good God, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess on a small card, it wouldn't be that bad. Is there like a way to break this? I don't think so, right? The neat. I like the whole like Warlock stealing health though. Literally, like why hasn't that been a, a like an earlier concept? There's like been lifesteal, you know, but like lifesteal isn't stealing health. Like this steals health. And I think this like definitely screams a like a warlock type effect. I wish we had more of this effect to be honest of the stealing health. Like on this seems okay. If, if not, then maybe make it one mana. 
or, or deal the steal one and, and but like there should be other cards that kind of have that as like a, a stronger condition that isn't like absolutely broken how that is not too sure uh, maybe you make it on a weapon um weapons i doubt warlock would break <laughs> i don't know warlock has a lot of crazy things going for it but i i definitely do think uh, something like this is still really cool i love playing excavate warlock as a matter of fact i still play excavate warlock and although it's like not the best decks out there it's still rather fun to steal health and and just gain it and actually it's it's less troublesome the less you steal at, at intervals right like i think the problem with the other car was it it stole too much health you know and so now it's like it, it just became like an otk because you can easily steal health you just instantly otk your opponent by playing three of it but with this card you know they're, they're in such small increments that like generally like you need to like steal a lot to kind of do it like you can't it's very you can otk with the the current excavate legendary that they have now but you need to play it like at least five times you know so i i think i think the fact of the matter is is that the lower you go the better it is and i would love to see more effects like this just just case in point i don't know how good this card would be but definitely is like a cool type of effect that i wish you we could see more often all right three mana ten ten bursting rage sorry three mana bursting rage summon a ten ten dragon under your opponent's control all enemy minions attack it so it's kind of like a death wing really strong i don't know your, your opponent would have to kill it so that means they would have to have at least a total of 10 attack so in the early game it's not that powerful I'm trying to think of like what mana source would you really want to play this at probably like five to eight plus and then by the time it gets like eight plus sometimes it doesn't clear everything it's kind of like a weird hysteria right like a priest hysteria where like that one doesn't literally clear everything but this thing is also like random so you can't really choose the targets it just depends I think it's very very interesting for for warrior to have something like this though as like a random generator whether it's i think it might be a bit too strong at three but i can't figure what mana range like i, I imagine five to eight mana is the sweet spot and then anything after that you're probably only going to kill off like two or three minions and they might have minions left over depending on the matchups as well there might be divine shields or like death rattles and and those go off and then you know it, it really does depend it, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with this type of card so like when you look at it and you're like oh that's crazy like he's summon a 10 10 he just it basically destroys your opponent's board it's like it could but it depends on the matchup really and also what it does like if, if at all it does is attack two divine shields that have five attack like it's all you've only just taken out divine shields and you played three mana for that so it's not the best kind of interesting though i would love to see warrior with something like this just for the sake of seeing how powerful it really would be uh, i love the fact of like there was an effect that that's occurred multiple times one time was a little bit more played not so much when it was released but there was a card or an effect that forces your opponent to your opponent's minion to hit another minion first was on a weapon and that actually became like a pretty decent weapon back at the time it was not that strong when power levels were not that strong and then it got reintroduced as a spell which was like absolutely over level or over costed so you know those types of effects where it interacts with your opponent's board in such a weird wacky way something that like super like definitely calls out as warrior and i would love to see more of that all right, and so then we have a three mana ice armor. Gain two armor for each enemy minion. If your deck has no minions, freeze all enemy minions. Yeah, pretty cool. Three mana, let's say you gain four to eight armor and then freeze all enemy minions. It's, you know, rather neat. The three mana effect, the thing I like about this is that this frost effect doesn't occur unless you are playing a no minion mage i love this by the way this is actually like how you probably should design freeze effects conditional and limiting to like that aspect so the fact that there are like 
any mage can play this mass freeze effect i think is personally on the uh, stronger end and like it's been okay but it's been frustrating for people but when you see it in something like this anyone can play it any mage can play this and gain two armor for each enemy minion uh, but they don't get the full freeze effect and that's the more powerful effect i think this is actually kind of interesting to see yeah I, I would definitely love to see more of this i think this is actually really awesome personally <laughs> i would play this in a no minion mage really cool i i really like it and again it, like as scary as it is as powerful as it probably makes no minion mage keep in mind that it's a spell that is specifically for that archetype and so when you're looking at it and you're like, oh, it's so problematic, it's like, well, like, sure, like, it freezes all enemy minions, but it does not every mage can do this to you. Elemental mage can't do this to you. Some other forms of mage cannot do this to you. It's only no minion mage, unless they happen to, like, draw their entire deck or deck where it's, like, just that. And if that's the case, you just got RNG rolls. Like, that's basically it. But that's going to be it for the video, everyone. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This week has been nothing but a clown fiesta, to be honest. So I'm hoping next week will be a little bit better. But otherwise, as always, thanks so much for watching.